There is nothing wrong with your television, television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. My name is Richard Hansen. I'm the founder and director of the Duluth Superior Film Festival. Our opening night film was called Rumble, The Indians Who Rock the World. It was a documentary on indigenous people, First Nation people, musicians who were fairly famous, but most people didn't know it. So it's very interesting to see that kind of insight and the history of some Native American musicians in the United States. It's really nice to see that we have, we have our places in history as far as music, um, being an artist, I myself as a writer, so that's pretty interesting. It's very, it's gonna propel me to move forward. I think coming to these helps me make my, my next film better and hopefully introduces me to people that I can work with. Very amazing to look at an audience who is digging something and you say, oh, this is what we worked on, this is what me and a lot of other people put together and that's not even just validating, but also helps then propel you to the next aspect of what you're doing. Every year, IPR brings a group of students up to the Duluth Superior Film Festival, and we meet people, we interview them, we make little videos every day, kind of letting everybody know what's going on at the festival today. Um, yeah, it's a great time. We had uh, First Daughter and the Black Snake, which is a documentary by Carrie Pickett, centered on Winona LaDuke who is a Native American activist and who is actually um, even a, a vice presidential candidate. You know, I hope that they got an insight into like how beautiful our land is and how beautiful our people are and, and how strong we are in our spiritual practice and that, you know, that the Creator gave us all a really good gift here. I think that this is a very important town for this film because the film centers on the fact that these pipelines want to come to Duluth Superior. Lake Superior represents one-fifth of the world's fresh water. And I think down the line, people will understand its value more and more as the rest of the world has so many issues with a climate chaos. We want thought-provoking films. We want films that make people a little bit riled up. And uh, it's all part of our mission. Most people at the festival are just kind of there hanging out, showing off their films. Or meeting other people as kind of a networking event, um, but we're there showing off that we're students that we have the ability, so I think it's kind of a networking thing for us, but they get to see us work at the same time. We've got a film called Girl Flu, which is director Dory Barton. This is an international festival hit. It's our centerpiece presentation. We're very excited about it. It's a woman-centered film directed by a woman with female protagonists. It's a very interesting story, uh, very charming, very touching. Well, the film is about a little girl getting her first period and how that affects her relationship with her mother and her mother's boyfriend, and it's a whole system story. I think that the hands-on experience that we receive from doing trips like that is really beneficial. We really get to learn what it's like to go out and work in the real world, and we get to learn what it's like to interact with other filmmakers, and especially at an event like the Duluth Superior Film Festival, I think that it was extremely beneficial to be able to network and talk about the things that we were doing not only for ourselves, but for IPR as a, as a school. Hands-on experience is, is so important to really, I mean, you can get the head knowledge, but once you have the hands-on knowledge and put all of that together and make the connections that you make as you are shooting, as you are meeting people, and especially at a film festival, all the students at IPR have the opportunity to talk to a number of different filmmakers on how they started and how they got to where they were. It's great to be able to have a place like this that just kind of functions as a hub so you can, you know, meet and greet and see other people's stuff and, and yeah, watch with an audience and yeah, it's a unique, it's, it's a nice opportunity to have. Today we just had a screening of five web series made by uh, five different Minnesota filmmakers and, uh, and to just show off uh, um, the web series as a real format for great entertainment. Our show has been around for a couple of years and uh, thanks to Sika TV we're now just uh, just finishing up shooting uh, three new uh, episodes uh, that we shot at the IPR studios and uh, using IPR students and other staff members. I think film festivals work particularly well for for web series to expand viewership because there's a reason for people to go online and follow up on work that they like. Being on the crew and just kind of catching people on the way out and hearing them talk about their films and things like that, it, 
It shows a lot of passion for what we do. It shows a lot of determination for getting these projects done, how you have to hustle and bustle to get things done on a deadline, and just overall the amount of, of dedication that it takes to do these sort of things, and it's really inspiring. We really wanted to pay a special focus to films that have women as protagonists, films that are directed and produced by women. It's just part of our mission to really um, be as diverse as possible, and uh, it's just something that we really felt was important this year. So the short film that I wrote and directed called Level will be playing in the regional um, section of the Duluth Film Festival. And what's really sweet about that is that uh, this is a film that was a collaboration between me, between IPR, and most importantly with my students. What's really cool is seeing IPR students not just making movies, but also participating in capturing like a documentary about the festival itself. IPR offers such a great opportunity for people that are looking at getting into this industry. And I love the idea of what they are doing, what IPR is doing for the community and for students. And I want to branch up here, okay? <laughs>